Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am in my kitchen just because the lighting here is the best. I could not find anywhere else in the house where the lighting was, you know, is. So it's gonna be here. Welcome to my kitchen. That is broke off, that is why there is no door on there. So uh, just ignore that. But today, I'm gonna be talking about my top five favorite musical soundtrack. If you guys know me at all, you know how much I love musical theater. This channel is half musical theater and half makeup y stuff. You guys know i thought i'd talk about my top five favorite musical soundtracks at the moment these are definitely probably going to change but this is just at the moment if you want to see what they are then just keep watching guys so the first soundtrack that i have been listening to a lot recently is kinky boots if you guys know me at all and you've watched this channel if you haven't before like subscribe i'd love to have you if you guys know me at all you will know how much i adore kinky boots it is probably my favorite musical i say probably it is my favorite musical because the story is just so empowering, it's so uplifting, it's so happy. A lot of musicals nowadays, they are quite sad and they're quite down and stuff like that. So it is so, so nice to have a musical like Kinky Boots that is, you know, very upbeat and stuff like that. The music is by Cindy Lauper, if you didn't know that already. So it is very, it's very musical theatre, but it has that pop edge, which I like. I really like that in a musical. I don't like it when... A musical is totally like musical theatre now. Anyway, if it's written now, it's just totally like very musical theatre. For some reason, I just don't like it very much. I like it when it has that pop edge. Another soundtrack that I've been listening to a lot recently is Hamilton. If you guys watched my last video, you will know that I went to go and see Hamilton for my 20th birthday in London. It was insane. Now that I've seen you know, the actual production of it, and I've, and I've listened to the soundtrack obviously since it came out, um, I can confirm the hype. It is so good. I'm going to do a proper review. The music is obviously by Lima Mom Miranda. I had never heard of him before. Hamilton. I'd never heard of In the Heights or the stage version of Bring It On, which I believe he wrote as well. Um, I'd never heard of them before. Hamilton. So when I heard this soundtrack, I thought it was absolutely revolutionary. Obviously it is. If you don't know what Hamilton is, have you been living under a rock? Probably. It is about the founding fathers of America, more specifically Alexander Hamilton, who was the secretary? Secretary of State, I believe. It is all done through rap music and hip hop, which is something I'd never heard in musical theatre before. So this show is revolutionary. The soundtrack is revolutionary. If you haven't heard it, you have literally been living under a rock. Go and listen to it, it is amazing. The next soundtrack that I have been listening to so much recently since I went to go and see it in London is Six the Musical. This is another sort of like history piece. It is about Henry the Eighth's six wives and it is their side of the story. Obviously we always just hear divorced, beheaded, died, divorced, beheaded, survived. The tagline of this is divorced, beheaded, live in concert. So it is amazing. It is very, very pop. It is very pop and it is hilarious. It is a 75 minute show with no interval. It's like a concert. It's definitely more like a concert than it is like a show, but it is so good. Um, if you have not listened to this soundtrack yet, literally pause this video, go over to Spotify, over to wherever, and listen to it because it is absolutely insane. It is nothing like nothing I've ever heard before. The next soundtrack I've been listening to a lot recently is a different one for me. It is Book of Mormon. I've just booked to go and see this when it comes to Sunderland. Because I could never afford to go in London. It is so expensive to go and see in London. I managed to get tickets for, I think it was 70, uh, 20 pounds, sorry, at the front of one of the Grand Circle. So someone's having a restricted view, but I highly doubt that it will. This soundtrack is so funny. It is by the people who, well, the story is by the people who wrote South Park. If you've never listened to the Book of Mormon before, I highly recommend you go and listen to it. It is so funny. My favourite song has got to be I Believe and it's just the way Andrew Reynolds does it. I believe that God has a plan for all of us. So funny. Yeah, so if you've never listened to it before, go over, listen to it. Please go and listen to it. Because this musical is just not, in my opinion, it is not hyped enough. I know it's been out since I think it was 2011. It came out in, on Broadway. I think it was 2013 it came out in the West End, so yeah. Everyone, head over, go see that, go listen to it. It's just incredible, the music is absolutely insane. And if you know Holly, you should know Holly, she hates when I, when we go to London and I see a Book of Mormon thing and I'm just like, hello, my name is Albert Hyde. She hates it. The final cast recording I've been listening to a lot recently is the West End cast recording of Heather's. 
Um, this is just because it's like just came out and I am sort of obsessed with it. I love Carrie's version of Dead Girl Walking and I See you Know is insane. That is a new song that was written for the West End production of it. Um, I know this soundtrack sort of been getting like a lot of hate. It's obviously, it's very different to the off-Broadway um, cast recording of it. So uh, obviously Carrie and Barrett Over Weed, very different, very different sort of voices there. Um, but I love this. Two standouts for me have got to be Jodie Steele and uh, Jamie Musca Muscato, is that how you say his name? I think that's how you say his name. That, it is just an absolutely insane cast recording. Everyone knocked it out of the park. It is so different to the off-Broadway version. If you've listened to the off-Broadway version and you haven't listened to the West End one, go over, go listen to it. It is absolutely insane. So guys, there are my top five favorite musical soundtracks at the moment. Please let me know down below what yours are because I like to hear what you guys think as well. Obviously, these are my opinions. If you don't like these soundtracks, that is fine. If you adore these soundtracks like I do, that is also absolutely fine. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what video you'd like me to do next. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.